Hello, this is Stumpy, and welcome back to the negative challenge. We are on episode number eight, and I think we're just about ready to go and try and face my my first big challenge. I've had a lot of challenges just existing in this world. It seems to be a bit of a challenger enough, but we're about to go and face my first big challenge, and that is a creeper standing outside of my house in the morning. How more stereotypical Minecraft can you get? You're such a cliche creeper. Why don't you have an original idea? Why don't you show up somewhere more unexpected instead of the front of my house? That's the worst thing in the world at all. Is that a baby polar bear? You've got to be careful because if the polar bear has a baby, then yep, <laughs> then they can attack you. So let's just avoid that polar bear for now. Let's go back inside of the, the safety of my house. So yeah, I want to go and get defeated by the Elder Guardian, which sounds easy. It's not like I need to defeat it. It needs to defeat me. But I got to get to it, which might be a bigger challenge than it sounds. Like actually, there's normally one right at the top, isn't there? So maybe I'll be able to, to go and face that one by like digging straight through the, the top. Might be a good way to go. I want to show you this though first. This is my <laughs> this is my bizarre garden that I have here. So I finished planting everything. I added in some of the, the sugar cane, uh, which basically needs to be right in between the torches. Uh, basically just so that it doesn't uh, rep uh, get broken away. Because the plants are okay. If like the ice appears, it gradually gets melted and the plants are fine. But the second the water is gone for the sugar cane, it gets broken. And I had problems with that so uh, I've put down some torches here. Uh, this green is actually pink if you can believe it or, or not so uh, that's what those blocks are there instead of dirt and I got uh, these are potatoes and then carrots are here and then we got uh, potato carrots and then some wheat down at the, the end here. So basically I'm going to have all of the, the plants that I'm going to need. I've got other things I could plant like melons and uh, pumpkins and beetroot and stuff but it doesn't really matter does it? It doesn't really matter like I'm mainly going to probably eat potatoes from now on just because they put most of your hunger up. I also need to, to keep up with the the most recent addition to my challenges and that is to make a cake every single episode but not eat the cake basically i need to, to make a cake and i need to destroy the cake so what i think i'm gonna do i'm gonna make a cake i'm gonna place it down here on my table and i'm gonna leave it for now and then later on in the, the episode when i hopefully come back uh not victorious <laughs> i'm gonna go and i'm gonna eat the the cake so tell you what, what i'm gonna do this chest here, I'm going to put all of my stuff inside of this chest because I want to travel as light as possible in order to, to get there. What about my armor? Hmm, my armor isn't very destroyed. It'd be really... It'd be really sad <laughs> to waste my iron armor going up against this thing. I'm going to keep a bit of it. Tell you what, let me keep my... I'll keep my bottom half and then I'll put my, my top half in here. Because I want to be able to survive enough to, to get there. But basically anything I'm going to, to have on me, I'm going to end up losing basically. Because I'm going to die there and I'm not going to go back to get it, am I? So uh, let's just take a little bit of food. Uh, probably don't even need that much. Uh, let's take... Let's take 11 carrots. Should be the perfect amount of carrots. Uh, I take some torches with me as well. Uh, I need to take a pickaxe. I might make a, a stone pickaxe just so I don't waste my good one. Gee, I might have one lying around in here. I do not. So let's go and just grab some uh, some cobblestone. One, two, three. And then let's just go and grab a, uh, a bit of wood just for any uh, crafting needs that I may have. I'm probably going to want a boat as well. I have a, a boat here. So let's go and grab that. Uh, let's go and make myself my pickaxe. And then what else am I going to need? That might, that might be everything. That might be everything that I'm going to, to need. So I am going to lose my levels, but hey, that's just, that's just going to be <laughs> something we've got to get used to here. Because that's probably going to, to keep happening quite a lot. And actually, oh, oh, I do want to take, uh, let's take some ladders. And do I have a sign? Yeah, let's take a sign as well. Just so I can breathe underwater. Maybe a door as well. Because when else am I going to use that door? Let's be honest. <laughs> so let's go and grab that as well. And I just thought of something else. What was oh, and blocks. I just need some blocks. Like any blocks. Any blocks will do. Uh, let's save the dirt actually. Because I don't actually have a huge amount of dirt. Which seems like a weird thing to, to say. Let's take some granite uh, as well. As soon as I have a, a pickaxe. And let's go and, uh, and set sail. So I have a pretty good rough idea of where the, the ocean monument is. I think it's like... I mean, I say a rough idea. Like, I really do mean a rough idea. I think it's like this way in the, the ocean. I mean, it's, like, it's in the ocean. Ah, I know where the ocean monument is. It's in the ocean. <laughs> okay, I do know a little bit more of that. I think it's in this big body of ocean here. To be honest, it would actually be easier to, to find it at night just because it would kind of show up. Not because it would be glowing, but because of the opposite, because it would be like 
anti-glowing, negative glowing. <laughs> I don't know the right wording to, to use for that. Basically, it would be like a dark patch under all of the, the lemonade. So uh, it would be easy to find them. But I'm pretty sure... Is that it there? Or is that just ground? Oh, I think I think that might... Oh, yeah, there it is. Okay, it's right there. There we go. No problem finding it whatsoever. This was always going to be the easy thing. So the challenge is going to be digging through... Well, surviving to get there, but then also digging through before the, the mining fatigue kicks in. That's going to be one of the, the bigger challenges. So let's just go straight down here, and hopefully my stone pickaxe is going to get me through here quick enough. Go, 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 go. Okay, okay, I think that's mining fatigue. I think that is mining fatigue. Uh, let's go and put down a sign, because I need to make sure it's the elder guardian that kills me, and not one of the normal guardians. And here we go. Here's an elder guardian. Right, I need to lose and battle against it. So let me go and battle this elder guardian by hitting it with my pickaxe. <laughs> I want to make it seem like it is a, a convincing battle and there we go stumpy longhead was slain by an elder guardian and i am happy about that i am glad because that is one of my challenges and ticked off immediately to be fair <laughs> that i mean i'm making a big deal out of it but that was gonna be the easy one wasn't it <laughs> like out of the wither and then like the um the the ender dragon like the, yeah, the, the Elder Guardian was going to be the easier of the, the three, I guess. So, <laughs> I did I did make things easy for myself to, to start with. So, it's going to get tougher than that, uh, getting to the, the next bosses. And oh, I am doing this right, aren't I? Yeah, okay. Okay, I was just making sure I wasn't making the, the same armor that I had already. So, right, let's go and replenish all of my, my armor. Uh, we can throw away some of the, the stuff that I have in my pockets. And you know what? That was even easier than I expected it was going to be because I did not have any idea for what else I was going to do today. So, right then, let's look at the house because <laughs> I like, I love the look of the garden. I just think it looks so, I think it just looks so cool and weird at the top. But I still need to, to kind of carry on building around the, the outside of the house. Like, this just looks crazy. I, I don't, there's something about this. It's just so bizarre. It just makes me so happy. <laughs> but this is what I don't like. There's like a big gap, kind of like a, a big gap there. And then you can just see like the bit of the, like the, the wood and then the, the dirt. And I need to decide what blocks do I want to have in the middle there. And I think I want a different color. I think I want a very different like style. And I, I think I'm going to go back to wanting lapis. I keep on saying it, but I really, 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 really want to get lapis. So what I'm going to do. Let's store most of my valuable. Let's put all of my iron in here because that's what really, really matters. Uh, and let's put some of my potatoes in here as well because they don't really, really matter, but it'd be annoying to, to lose them because I'm going to go mining and I'm going to go and try and get some lapis. But as the rules do state, anytime I go mining in the series, I need to mine directly down into the, the ground. And oh, let me take a bucket of water as well, just in case I do go and mine straight into lava. So far, uh, I'm actually not, I'm not even going to finish it. I'm not even going to finish it. You can probably guess what I was going to say. I'm not going to say it because I don't want to, to end up jinxing it. And actually, let's let's go and throw a bunch of my coal inside here as well. Just in case I do lose everything that I have right now, it won't be as big of a deal. It will be annoying. It will be a I won't be happy about it, but it won't be as bad as it could be. But yeah, let's go and bucket up some water just in case we do end up mining straight into to lava. And let's go to like a slightly new area. I'm going to leave like blocks to mark where I've gone mining before. So uh, right there, I have dug directly down. Also, there was a creeper explosion there, as I'm sure you can uh, you can see. <laughs> so let's go and start digging down here. And so basically, we are hoping to either just get to, to bedrock, uh, where I guess I could then do some strip mining. But really, what we're, we're hoping to, to do is to dig straight into a cave. And then that way, uh, we can kind of just go and uh, continue exploring the, the cave as normal. We're only after lapis. Like, we're not we're not after, like, some mystical, magical thing. We're only after some lapis. Just because my house is so bluey and so purpley. It's just a bit like... I just want a bit more variety to, to kind of the, the design in the, the house. And so I just want blue. Basically, I want the color blue so I can have the, the opposite of the, the color blue. Which I guess is going to be, like, a much more, like kind of ready orangey color uh, so that's going to be like my my main goal uh, and then I can have like a nice stripe of it around there or I can see how much lapis I get I could maybe make some concrete and stuff so maybe grabbing a uh, grabbing <laughs> grabbing a bit more gravel might be a smart idea uh, seeing as I am on my my way down here it's weird when they drop because it, like, it looks like it's like really lit up underneath can you see that because normally it'd be like dark underneath where like the the blocks are falling down but now it just kind of looks like really really bright which I just I don't know, I thought it looked strange. Maybe you think I'm strange for pointing out that it looks strange, but I thought it looked strange, okay? It's not a big deal. Let's keep digging on down, shall we? That's enough gravel. <laughs> and yeah, oh. Can I... Can I hear lava? 
I think I'm imagining hearing lava. Let's get some blocks ready and my bucket of water. I don't know if I did hear lava or if I imagined hearing lava because I was expecting to hear lava. So ah, hopefully it was the, the, yeah, the latter where I was expecting to hear it rather than actually hearing it. But hey, got myself a little bit more iron because I really don't have a, a huge amount of iron. And it's basically going to be the, the best thing I can get because one of my challenges is every single time I get a diamond, I need to basically destroy it immediately. So uh, yeah, diamond is basically out of the, the question for, for this here. And well, look at that. It looks really cool just seeing like the, the whole to the, the top of all of the, the weird colors. And oh, we're at bedrock. We are at bedrock already. So, no. Oh, wait. What is this? Oh, no. This isn't diamonds. This isn't diamonds. This is redstone. This is redstone. Okay. I, I got to learn. I got to keep learning this stuff. I thought it was, I thought it was diamond for a second. It looked a lot like diamond, but it wasn't. It was redstone. So, Seeing as I have now mined all the way down to, to here, uh, I dug straight down, so I can go and just kind of start mining in like any random direction. So let's go up just a tiny bit, just so we're going to be hopefully like slightly above lava level. And then let's go, oh, more redstone. I keep thinking it's diamond. The thing is, I don't want to find diamonds. I actively don't want them because any diamond I find, I just have to immediately, bur uh, immediately, immediately burn. And so I really just don't want to, to find diamonds. But you know what? If I could build out of a few redstone blocks, would that be a cool block? I mean, it was this once again a very bluey block. <laughs> so it would kind of, I guess, fit in with the, the style of everything else. But maybe building out of a few blocks of redstone would be cool. Because I'm not really going to have like any other uses for redstone in this series. Not that I can think of anyway. Like I can't imagine there being anything that I really want to, to craft out of them or, or anything. So uh, yeah, maybe building out of a bit of redstone would be a, a cool twist. I mean, it's really not meant to be a building series. But it'd be good just to, to get like a nice kind of base set up. Uh, just to, to kind of, you know, just to have ready and then just to have a, a nice place to, to come back to after all of my missions and stuff. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm just going to go and dig in a straight line uh, over in this direction here just until I either come across lapis or any other material that I want, or until I dig into a natural cave that I'm just going to discover, and then we can go and uh, explore that and see if we can find all of the, the things that we want to, to find. So while I'm doing that, because it would get quite boring, let me speed up the, the video until I arrive at something interesting. <laughs> Okay, uh, welcome back. I found... I found this. What's that? Oh, oh, wait, is this iron? I think this might... Is this just iron? Okay, it's just, is this just iron ore? Oh, it's gold ore! Okay, I was so confused. I was like, is it iron? But it looks like really, really dark, and I wasn't sure what it was, and... I don't know what it was, so I just thought I'd uh, I'd show you. But what I really want to do, so I, I started some more iron smelting just to make a pickaxe. But I got loads and loads more redstone, and it just looks so cool. The redstone. I just want to make a redstone block just to see what it looked like. I haven't found a cave or anything. I haven't found like much, to be honest. <laughs> I mean, I haven't like I haven't been digging for that much longer. Like I'm getting plenty of cobblestone. So if ever I want to build out a cobblestone, then I'm gonna have that. And to be honest, I am getting like redstone and like coal and like iron and stuff, but nothing, nothing majorly exciting. But uh, yeah, let me go back here. Because look, imagine like a full block of this. Because it kind of looks, it will kind of look a little bit glowy as well. So let me let me just see what it looks like. Because it might just be like a really really cool thing for me to to check out. Uh, or oh, where would it be? Would it be in with redstone stuff? Like normally it wouldn't take me long to to find it. But yeah, I can't like rely on what it looks like. It might be in like decorations. Hmm, well, maybe in this section here. I'm just, oh, there we go, block of redstone. Oh, God, even just by the picture there, it looks cool. Let's go and place it down there. Look at that. It looks like a magic block. Doesn't it look like a magic block? That looks crap. I want to build out of that. I want to, in some way, incorporate redstone into, into my builds. So I kind of want to find, like, a little bit more redstone, if I can, on my, my journeys now as well. But yeah, uh, I was getting a whole bunch of iron and stuff as well. So I thought I'd just bring you back in for a little bit of an update. Nothing exciting yet. Sadly, no lapis. And I really don't want to leave this cave until I get the, the lapis. So let me go and speed up again uh, until I can uh, either find the, the lapis or find a cave for us to, to be able to explore. <laughs> Oh, hello. Um, <laughs> I don't know why I just said hello then. <laughs> I was saying hello to this block. Hello. Um, is this lapis? It just looks like redstone, doesn't it? I think, I think this is lapis. Is it? That's got to be lapis. Or is, oh no, is it diamonds? No! 
It's not lapis, it's diamonds! And I must be the first person in Minecraft history to be upset at finding a huge group of diamonds! <laughs> what was that, eight diamonds? There was eight diamonds I found. Eight! But I can't keep any of them. In the rules, any diamonds I find, I have to burn, which is sad, but I was so excited because I just want some lapis. That's all I want. I don't need fancy di- Oh, oh, that's lava, isn't it? Oh, hello, hello. Okay, no, 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 stop that. Stop that lava. No, okay. We can't, we can't start, we can't start playing around with lava now. That's not in the, the rule book. Let's, let's go and break up here a little bit and let's have a look. Oh! That's... Oh, that's just redstone again. I don't know why I'm excited about seeing redstone. I've just gathered loads and loads of redstone. Ah! Ah-ha-ha-ha! Ah! I think, though, we have... Oh, God, I dug right next to that, that lava. We have found a cave, though. We have found a cave. So that's good, because this just means it's just so much easier to find what you're looking for when you have a cave. Like, strip mining like this, it's safer, but it's also, like, really boring. <laughs> so I, I always find it much better just to, to find a cave to, to do it that way. So let's gather up all of my belongings. We can gather you up. Uh, we can gather up the, the furnace, which has all of the, the iron in. I want to be uh, very, very careful about not dying anymore. And yeah, let's go and uh, head to, to this cave. And let's go have a look around. Let's see if we can find the, the lapis. I kind of know what it is that we're looking for. But first things first, I need to get it out of the way with... I need to stand here and burn eight diamonds. Why did I find eight diamonds? I ne When I'm looking for diamonds, I never find a patch of eight diamonds. That is ludicrous, right? Let's throw them in one at a time. Goodbye, diamond. Goodbye, other diamond. That could have been a diamond sword. That could have been diamond boots. That could have been a diamond shovel. That could have been another diamond shovel. I don't know who's making all these diamond shovels, but that could have been two diamond shovels I've just burnt away. Oh, it's horrible. It's horrible. Why did I put myself through this challenge? It is ridiculous. Right. So the lava carries on down here. I don't want to go too high because I don't know exactly like what level lapis spawns on at all. This is uh this is gold again, I believe, isn't it? Okay, let's go and gather up the the gold. I need to I need to just like have a chart in front of me over like like telling me like what block is block uh which block is what <laughs> just so I can kinda keep track with what it is that I am mining. Uh sadly no lapis by the looks of things. I think this is more gold, isn't it? Okay. I mean, I've struck gold, so the gold is good. I mean, getting the, the gold, I'm sure in some way that's going to, to come in handy at some point in the, the future. So it's good to, to get the, the gold, seen as that is a, a, a relatively rare thing to, to get. Something that should be much rarer than getting lapis. But the thing that I want, lapis, I am getting absolutely nothing of. Bit more coal. I don't need coal. Let's just leave the coal. I don't need to gather, like, every little bit of coal that I can, uh, I can see. Let's keep going this way, then, because it seems to be a bit of a dead end that way. Obviously, it's a little bit dangerous, but if we use this water, actually, ta-da, we can make ourselves a, an obsidian. Whoa! The obsidian looks so crazy, doesn't it? <laughs> like milky white obsidian, so bizarre. But yeah, we can do this to, to make a, a nice uh, obsidian bridge uh, just to, to easily get uh, around the, the lava. And hopefully this does kind of like end up linking to like another cave uh, somewhere around down here. Even so, just like digging through this bit uh, here, it just means I can just see more than like if you're strip mining. Because when you're strip mining, you can just see like the blocks that are directly around where you are. When you do this, at least like more is broken away so you have a, a chance to, to see more. Of course, this isn't the, the easiest cave in the, the world to, to navigate through considering that there's lava all over the, the floor. I'm just hoping though that this is going to, to end up uh, linking up with a bigger cave. And ah! It looks like it might do. It looks like we've uh, we've found light at the, the end of the tunnel. Literally. <laughs> I guess light is in the tunnel. The other thing that I'm starting to, to worry a little bit about is the fact that I have been I have been wandering quite a lot uh, away from home, and I, I do struggle a little bit in this uh, this series finding my way back to the, the house, uh, so hopefully I'm not going to have too much trouble there. Uh, there's a bit more redstone. I'm really liking the idea of building out of these redstone blocks just because of how crazy they look, so uh, I am going to go and try and gather up uh, as much redstone as I can discover. Luckily, I'm finding loads of it. I can't believe how unlucky I've been. Like, I hope I hope that I haven't, like, discovered, um lapis but just not realize that it is lapis or just not even notice it was an ore and, uh, and left it that would be absolutely devastating hopefully i'm not going to read any comments of people saying like what are you talking about there was lapis everywhere you looked and you missed it i don't think that's happened i don't think that that is the the case but there's a very <laughs> a very real risk that that is the the case so uh, i guess we can just hope to hope that that isn't what's been going on and hope that i i have been as observant uh, observant as i think i have been because i'm really just focusing on that one single block but I haven't seen it once yet, so I just haven't learned what it is that I'm looking for. So that was...
was more gold, uh, more redstone around this way. Uh, we might have to, to go and deal with this skeleton first. It's a bit tricky, is that? Is that okay? That's a pit of lava in between me and the, the skeleton. I'm not entirely sure how I'm going to deal with this. Let's just make a, a little bit of cover. Oh! Looks like the situation dealt with itself. <laughs> I was like, how am I going to deal with this skeleton? The skeleton's like, ah, let me help you. And just dived into the, the lava and burned it all. And my pocket's full. I've got so many goodies. My pockets have been filled up. Uh, I guess I can throw away one of my stacks of, of cobblestone, seeing as I have many. And let's be really careful here because there is a bridge uh, of, uh, yeah, just going over the, the lava. But I could get shot by a skeleton or something. And it is blindingly bright. Oh, that's got to be it. Is that it? That has to be, surely that is it, isn't it? What else would have that orange color? Oh, but it looks beautiful. It looks so cool. It looks so unlike all of the other things that I've been building out of, which is exactly what I was after. It's why I've just been so focused on just getting this single block, just because so many things look similar with that bluey color. I just wanted something different, and this looks very, very different. So let's go and actually pick it up, and let's go and check, and yes, lapis lazuli. So not loads. What have I got? I've got like 13 little bits of, uh, of lapis. But hey, that should be enough to... Well, I can make a bunch of concrete powder out of it to, to of course, make concrete. That's what <laughs> you use uh, concrete powder for. Also, I could save some. So if I do get a, a proper sheep pen at some point in the, the future, then I'll be able to, to get some blue sheep. And then also I can use some to make, like, all the variations on blue. Like, I can make cyan, of course, by mixing it with green. And I can make, like, light blue and stuff as well. So it doesn't just have to be the, the exact blue that I got. But you know what? The amount of time it took me to get that one single bit of lapis, I am not going to spend absolutely ages looking to, to find any more lapis now. I think I am done for this mining trip, so I think I'm going to staircase my way out of here. I think that's going to be the, the best way to, to get out, because I don't want to go, like, the entire way back the, the way that I've came. Uh, basically because I just don't know <laughs> the entire way back that I've, I've come. Like, I could kind of just wander around randomly, but I think the, the chances of me finding my way all the way back there uh, would take ages and, like, very slim chance. Also, it would just, yeah, it's just not as easy as, uh, as digging straight up. So let me, let me just go and do a little last bit of wandering here, just because it did take me so long to find, like, a big open cave. If there is, like, another bit of lapis just around one of these corners, like, I would, of course, not know it, but it would be so horrible to, to just leave it all. There's an enderman. I really want to take out the enderman. Look how weird it looks. I just can't stop looking at things and how weird they are. Let's go and take out this enderman because one of the, the next challenges I'm going to be doing soon is is to, to go up against the ender dragon. And I need to lose the fight, <laughs> which is, I guess, the, the part that's in my favor. But I still do have the challenge of getting to the end. So uh, I do need to, to start collecting ender pearls. Sadly, it looks like that enderman, I don't think, dropped one for me. Nope, it did not. So uh, sadly, none from that one there. But uh, I do need to, to make a bit more of a, of a habit of going for some nighttime wonders uh, to, to go and try and get some some enderman. I always like trying to do it gradually rather than like saying, right, now I need ender pearls. I'm going to spend like forever uh, just trying to, to get them. And oh, don't knock me in lava. Don't, oh, okay, there's a big fight here. Okay, we might. Oh no, oh no, no. Oh, this is bad. This is bad. This is bad. Was oh, that a creeper hiss? I can't see what's down here. It's too bright. It's too bright. No, run away. Run away. Run away. Run away. Block it off. Okay, okay. It's just, it's just a little tiny one. Just a little tiny one. I can deal with you. Okay, there's a spider right there. Did you see that? Did you see its glowing eyes? That was terrifying. Let's have some carrots and let's get my health back up. So I'm getting a little bit panicked right now. I kind of just don't want to go back in the way that I came. And oh no, what are you doing? Ambushing me down here, you evil skeleton. There's another one just around the corner down there as well. There's gold and like all sorts around here. But to be fair, I'm just not dealing with that right now. Okay, that is water. That is not lava. For a second, I thought it was lava, but <laughs> I think we're okay. I need to make some more torches as well because I'm running out of torches because I've just been throwing these absolutely all over the place. All this was meant to be was another little extra wonder just in the rest of the cave just to hopefully find a bit more lapis but that turned into a very dangerous time. I think, I think I do need to call it a day. I think let's just gather up this last little tiny bit of redstone and then iron here and then let's call it a day and then let's just get out of here because that was absolutely terrifying. <laughs> right, uh, I broke another pickaxe so luckily I have been uh, gathering quite a lot of iron while I've been down here so I can start replenishing all of the broken pickaxes that I have lost going down here and you know what? 
I reckon this might be our, our last big mining trip because now that I've got a pretty great supply of iron, I can't see me needing to get much else unless I really want to build out of out of something orangey again and go after the, the lapis. I think I should be okay. And actually, I want to make a, a gold block as well because I haven't seen what a gold block would look like. So there's just gold everywhere. Like I've been so lucky with getting gold down here. I haven't needed gold for anything, but if I did, I know the place to, to go. Let me just one check. No lapis down there. Nope. Okay, we're okay. I'm getting greedy again. I'm getting greedy. So right. Let me do what I said I was going to do. Let me go and staircase my way out of here. Uh, I'm going to speed up the, the video uh, as well until I arrive at the, the surface. And then, yeah, uh, we can go and destroy our cake and end the episode there. Ah, okay. <laughs> I think I've arrived pretty much at the, the surface. I do seem to be under... Oh, guys, this isn't the ocean, is it? Right, I can have a little breath there. How? Okay, oh, I'm quite deep here, actually. Am I by the ocean monument? I don't know where I am. Right, okay, I can keep keep, keep I can keep taking breaths with the, the torches, but I need to get up to the surface. Okay, I'm not too deep. This should be okay. Look at the moon or the sun. I don't know what it is. What is that? Is that the moon or the sun? I think that's the sun, I think. Or the moon? No, that is the sun. That is the sun. <laughs> it's so weird that you just can't tell the, the difference. Okay, then. The next question is, where am I? I arrived in the middle of a ocean. But which ocean is it and where is my home? So it looks snowy in this direction over here. So this is probably a safe sign that my house is going to be... Well, I mean, my house is in the snow. So it should be relatively close. Though there's a desert over that way. Is it, is it this way then? Because I know like I'm next to a desert. But I'm kind of like almost surrounded by a desert. So this doesn't make things particularly easy for me. Let's just keep wandering this way until I get a little bit higher up. And then we can try and work out exactly exactly which way I need to, to head to. There's no landmarks here that are really standing out. Oh, here we go. My house is right here. I was literally right by my house. I completely came back from a direction that I didn't expect. But hey, I was able to, to find my way back nonetheless. Let's go and grab the, the eggs. I got another chicken, by the way. I was able to, to bring back a uh, another chicken in case you didn't realize. So uh, egg production, uh, well, not production, egg gathering, I guess, is going to be <laughs> much easier in the other future. And of course, I can breed the, uh, the chickens if I want more eggs. But anyway, I was able to make it so safely home and look at all my loot look at all of my stuff that i got we can go and start throwing some uh gold inside of there uh, we can throw some iron ore inside of here where's the rest of my do i have more iron i got more than 18 iron didn't i there must be some iron in my inventory somewhere where is it i just want to throw it all in is that all the iron i got um i think that might be all the i thought i got way more iron than that did i end up did i throw some away I might have accidentally thrown some iron away, or I am staring at iron right now, but I'm just being absolutely blind. Either way, it doesn't really matter. To be fair, most of my pocket seems to be filled up with this uh, this redstone. Uh, so let's go. Let's just go make a bunch of these redstone blocks. Oh, I can make loads of them. Ooh, what I might be able to, to do then is I could do like a strip of redstone like around the, the house. So like maybe I could do like... Maybe like whatever, maybe an orangey block around there with the, the lapis. Then maybe like a strip of redstone around here. Would that just look crazy? <laughs> I think that would look really cool. Now, I don't think I'd have enough to do it the entire way around, but maybe on just like some of the, the straight bits or something. I don't know. That could be a, a cool thing to, to try out. Sadly, though, we won't be doing that today. I will be doing that in a future episode. There's only one more thing I need to do for my challenge today, and that is to stare at this cake. Okay, staring's done. And then destroy the cake. Bye, cake. I'll miss you. Oh, it's so sad. I absolutely hate that. I hope that I hope that I get used to that because that was horrible. And then I have to eat carrots. I have to destroy a cake. Then I have to stand here spending ages eating carrots one by one. Outrageous. Absolutely outrageous. Ah! Anyway, though, that is going to be the end of this episode here. As always, there'll be a link down in the description to the next episode when it's online. And uh, as well as the, the playlist as well, which is going to be down there. But for now, thank you all so much for watching. And I will see you all later. Bye!